Hello guys and welcome to Ashes of the Singularity. We continue the campaign of episode 1 Imminent Crisis. So, we have two options and uh, that would be mission 10 right now. Single, the hunters and Drenji, end game. We cannot play this one right now. It's end game. Let's play this one. So, the PAC has launched a counterattack on the planet of Silgul against the infamous substrate entity known as Gallipol. Mm. Interesting, I didn't know that substrate is also called Gallipol. Let's get going. <clears throat> Whoa. Welcome to Silgul. This time we are the hunters. There are three of us versus a single so-called substrate enemy. Our mission is simple, find and destroy the substrate entity known as Gallipol. Okay, this mission should be easy if, if there is three of us trying to destroy one. Okay. I'll uh, change my camera like this. Or do you prefer like this, guys? Do you prefer like this? Uh, okay, I prefer like this too, so... We will need a factory right away and we need to get some units uh, rolling. <coughs> One factory is enough, trust me. We need to get... Um, we need to get... How is it called? Uh, radioactive. Uh, things are tight now. If I unqueue. Oh, okay, my ally is on the first place. Looks like Gallipol is on the last place right now. Oh. Yeah, Gallipol doesn't look that good. And if it's three of us versus one, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Now, I don't know if this area is defended. If this area is defended, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna lose this engineer, I guess. But let's... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Run, 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 run. Finally, positive... Uh, <laughs> repeat. Finally, positive... Uh, mass production. How was this? Smartest system. Okay. Hmm. Smartest system. Let's make one. Yeah, to have it here. In the meantime, let's attack this uh, power generator. <coughs> Okay, guys, uh, the situation doesn't look as good as it used to. <sighs> I'm on the first place? Come on, because I have a few troops. You see, guys, this can make a, a really big difference. Okay, let's not stay there anymore. Oh, someone said I don't zoom in. So here's the zoom in. The sound, the audio is going to be louder. So you can see the beauty of, uh, of Ashes of the Singularity. Indeed, beautiful graphics, guys. There are a lot of things which depend on radioactive and until you don't pr start producing radioactive you don't have access to those buildings. This world has unusually concentrated resources. I suggest you take advantage of the amplifier we've recently uh, perfected. 
you'll need to build up to them first get your factories quantum relays and such working and keep expanding as normal once you're ready under your engineers to build amplifiers and these resources reach power generator near your blah, blah blah okay i understand that <coughs> Okay, let's move on. Now, for now, amplifiers won't help me with anything. Orbital newly fire may help. Okay. That's a very good point over here. Because it has a lot of <coughs> metal. Trying to capture as much as I can because otherwise the AI is going to take the resources and I'll not be able to maximize everything I could maximize. Okay, let's go this way. Oh my god. Gallipol has a lot of shit. Okay, I just need to take this land. And that one. Okay. My ally will no longer expand this area. Okay, I need to take this land fast, 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 fast. Not my ally, but me. Okay, logistics is good. The amplifier is also very efficient. Okay, I will need some anti-air in my base. Quite a lot, to be honest. Because... Uh, Because I need it. Am I taking this land? No, I'm not taking it. Looks like my AI is, is planning to take it. And it should be mine. Uh, 
I'm picking a heavy research deposits all through this isolated central valley. Remember that allied territory extend your supply uh, lines as well. You'll get an income from this valley even if uh, Aphrodite or I control this uh, accesses to it. Okay. It's very good then. So we should move on. Yeah, so this mission is fairly easy. Wait. It looks like I am the one capturing this one. Okay. Making a lot of resources. Good stuff. That region is now contributing more resources to your war effort. The real power comes when you use the amplifier. Okay. They're trying to teach me stuff, but I already know stuff. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this valley is very important. <coughs> My big problem right now is the fact that I allow Oh my god, this is in connection with the enemy. So it's not that isolated. Oh yeah, that's the AI. That's the enemy, guys. Okay. One, two, three factories. Actually, four factories. And three uh, dread launches against dreadnoughts. There is more stuff in this area. More land for us to capture. Oh my god, guys. That's not me. I don't use to produce uh, resources that much and not use them. So that's not that's not me. But wait, there is more. What the hell?
Mm, that was pretty much it. Okay. <clears throat> the push has to start soon. A strong push. We need more logistics. Okay, air units are not allowed. For a good reason. I just hope the enemy is not allowed the air units either. This way it will be balanced. Let's get the amplifier. Okay, finish this, then uh, do something for me, please. Everybody's gonna get here. Oh, I need another bot. Damn it. Let's make another one. It's faster to make them. Okay, let's make the nemesis here. It's consuming a lot of metal at first, but it proves to be a good investment in the end. Okay. Metal. And radioactive. want some repair base in my in my base although it's not necessary I'll make a dreadnought killer wait yeah gonna bring him here this is a medic it is from the enemy I have no idea, to be honest. Okay, I'm doing really, really bad with um, with radioactive. So I should uh, start attacking. For now, on that in that area, he is from the enemy. No, it's our it's our squad. Yeah, so I'm going uh, to attack, but uh, in the meantime, I'm being attacked at my headquarter. Okay. I think it's time to strike the enemy. Where it expect expects expects the least. I'm building a lot of stuff that also consumes my radioactive. And I didn't put much attention, I didn't put much attention into the radioactive production either, so imagine my situation now.
more logistics, you name it, you have it. Okay, we are attacking now. Orbital command. That allows me to have some abilities. Okay, it looks like my ally managed to take over that land. But not for long from what I see. Check that out. The enemy is not so strong anymore. <laughs> or it actually is. There you go. If this thing gets down, I'm a winner. That thing uh, was healing the, the enemy units. And we're under attack, guys. Let's make a good impression. Let's make some upgrades to the weapons. Nice. I need to attack on two sides. No, 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 no. Please don't go there. This, this thing is mine. And I cannot build my things on it. What a shame. Okay, I cannot go that way. I need to stay here. Okay, things are going well for me. I need to support my ally in his attempt of capturing the enemy. But uh, Gallipol is getting pretty strong. My allies are not as strong as him. Also, my potential is limited. That's my dreadnought. <coughs> okay. I 
increasing the amount of troops I can have. Okay, that was a nice push there, guys. We're pushing forward. The enemy cannot say and cannot do anything to me. Okay, if I want to make another dreadnought, it's going to take me a lot of <clears throat> a lot of resources. Resources which currently I cannot spare. So I'm going to have to rely on this dreadnought to help me push. I'm also building defenses, you know, and Quantum upgrade installed. that takes things. Okay, let's no longer make these troops. Now I have resources for another dreadnought, guys. It's going to be an area re domi dominance dreadnought. And this dreadnought is going to be a siege dreadnought. Good. I'm not sure where the enemy base is. Let's go with our dreadnought here. And we will push this area with the dreadnought. Okay, I increased the speed so things would go a bit faster. This uh, game can can get really slow. <laughs> Wait a second, I've got this. Okay, it looks like this guy is showing us the path and we just follow. This belongs to... I don't know to whom. It's clearly not ours. Yeah, we skip to have defenses. Let's make some upgrades to the health. Okay, we're going with the dreadnought. Uh, build the power regulator. What the hell? Power regulator. What does it do? Locks uh, amplifier visibility. Doesn't look bad. Look how fast the quantity is increasing for me. Okay, my dreadnought is dangerous. It deals a lot of damage to single targets. Let's make an army with dreadnoughts. Okay, let's get a few medics here. Around 10. Basically, when you order, when you order the medics from here, you actually uh, you actually queue them at the factory and they become yours. Okay, it looks like my ally is doing extremely well here. My connection to this world feels about 56k. I can't see into your data stream. Did you amplify your amplifier? I strongly suggest you do so. In any case, you'll need all of that juice to take down this Gallipol thing. 
you're going to have to do the heavy lifting here with Aphrodite and myself severely limited blah 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 okay let's see orbital strike incursion and pulse drop soul shields and plasma storm amplify okay this thing amplifies one production I s recommend this one are we betrayed or what Were we betrayed? We were not. Wait, so this is amplified. Oh my god. I'm reaching the units limit so fast. Look at all this dreadnoughts. Normally the first thing I'd suggest with a big stockpile of resources would be a decisive air strike. This world has unusually low lunosphere though, which is preventing us from maintaining contact with anything airborne. Yeah, it's preventing just me because uh, my allies can use the air, guys. So imagine that. Wait, 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 what? The enemy I the enemy got inside my allies base. I must I must go and help guys. All my dreadnoughts uh, upgraded. I'm going to instantly repair this dreadnought. Okay, this is where or not. Wait, now this is interesting. I'm reading an, an unusual energy signature from within this isolated structure. Looks like some kind of iconic blank spot. If you can go get take a look at this thing, I may have a solution for our little air construct problem. Without access to a pan, you will have to use a sensor sweep full of it and incursion with it again, blah blah blah. What does he want from me? There's no way I can get in there in time. 
Oh, it's just optional. Well, let's let's actually wait, guys. Let's go back and let's uh, let's wait. Look at me now. Let's get even more quanta. It's going to be a skyrocket. Everybody has a dreadnought now. Not enough metal. Oh, I'm going to need a pan to Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so what's a pan? A pan it's a real scout. Not initiated. Actually I have no idea. Not initiated. Oh I know how I can scout that sensor sweep. Capture the mysterious generator. I think I need some artillery here. Let's focus fire on the Nexus. Full fire. No chance. Okay guys, my team won. Let's see what's up. Okay, there is no uh, outro cutscene. Thank you a lot for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and don't forget that um, G2 is my official sponsor. If you wish to buy anything from them, use the link in the description and the SHD code for an extra 3% discount. Take care of you now. Bye bye.